Welcome to the stream! Today is pre-Splat Fest day in Splatoon 3 before the Spring Fest, which I'm super excited about. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to let everybody know I am live. Bam! And... I don't even know what beat that is, but it's a beat, I guess. I don't know. But bam Ha-ha! I done done did it. Now, we're going to play some Splatoon 3 and do the Splat, this the pre-Splatfest stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping to get a lot of conch cells. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's see here. Gameplay. Wondering. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What's going on here? Is YouTube not putting out notifications? Because usually everybody's here. Oh, that's okay. Let me get the music on. Oh, it's already on. Okay. Here we go. Listen up, it's going down. Nothing the Splatlands, we are deep cut. Anarchy Splatcast, we're live. I right, here we go. You lip sync, we drip ink. I, 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 shiver, fry, and big man. One sec, before I do that, let me just, uh, womp. Do, 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 do. Okay. This wasn't working. It was being a bot. All right. Continuing on. You lip sync, we drip ink. I, I, I. Shiver fry and big man. I, I. Breaking news, you two. Oh, what's got your fins a flapping? Shiver, you oughta know. It's that time. I, I. Splat fest. Ahem. It, it's time for a splat fest. Ooh, I like a splat fest. Yeah, time to party. Hello, Mango Ninja. You are first. What's the theme? What's the theme? I hold your seahorses. The info's still downloading. I've got it. The theme is, huh? Well, that is fascinating. Hug! Hurry up and spill it. You're hogging the Splatfest vibe. Yep, there's another Splatfest. How are you, Clayla baby? Or Kayla B. This is a spring fest, so it's kind of a special occasion, Splatfest. Chill. I'm getting ready to announce it. Ahem. I, I. Come on, come on. Without further ado, this Splatfest theme will be none other than... Drumroll! ba bam Aww! It's spring, a time for fuzzy fluffiness! It's spring, a time for fuzzy fluffiness, baby chicks, little bunnies, and bear cubs. Aye, spring is sprung in the Splatlands. Fluffiness for me is all about the gentle feel of an adorable baby chick in my hands. Yeah, both will pick some murder John saved to your phone. Nice. Down with down, true fluff is found in the soft ears and tender toes of a little bunny. Aye aye, a bear cubs. The kind of cute you should coo at from a safe distance. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently not, if we're having a splat fest like this. I, I. Too bad only the baby chicks aren't extinct now. They're all so. Oh, there we go. They're all so cute. I, I. Too bad only the baby chicks aren't extinct now. They're all so cute. Can we uh, take a step back? What does fuzzy fluffiness mean in context? Oh, I got this one. Fuzzy means soft, and so does fluffy. Does that help? Why, it seems so stunningly obvious when you put it like that. Of course I knew that. 
What I don't know is what's up for debate here, actually. Or exactly. Aye, aye, good point. Maybe we should pick whichever one calls to us. Hippity hop, mother fluffer, hugs and head pats, Pega and Pega fam. Hello, Moose. And look, I'm not blind. I went and I saw the solar eclipse in totality and I'm not blind. It's amazing. Well, little bunnies call to me so much that they're blowing up my phone. Besides, they look the fastest. I wouldn't just pet them, I'd race them too. Aye, aye. It takes a good eye to spot their talents at a glance. Or a good imagination. A for not earning a Darwin Award? <laughs> Indeed! If they're that fast, good luck getting your pets in. No, here's how I see it. Baby chicks all the way. Raise them right and they might lay me some golden eggs. Psst. If it's golden eggs you want, just pick up some shifts in your spare time. I wanna join the fluffle. Aye, aren't you two forgetting the fluff and fuzz factors? Aye, aye. That's why bear cubs are so great. They're soft, fuzzy, and... And? Finish that thought, big man. Aye, something about those round ears seem very familiar. Uh, actually, don't finish that thought. Why don't you tell everyone out there about our big announcement instead? Aye, ooh, good call. Hi, to celebrate spring, we're giving out special deep cut themed shoes. Everyone loves a brand collab. If you want them, check the Nintendo Switch News app. Come splat this time. We'll all be sporting a spring makeover. Get your bonnets ready. And that's all for now. Make sure to get your votes in. Aye, aye. Don't forget your Splatfest tea. Check the equipment menu after you vote. Yep, I still got main story mode. Hey, it looks like there's a challenge available today. Check out the rules and give it a shot. Let's see the current battle stages. Drum roll! Okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah, I still have the main story mode to beat. Um, I'm assuming these are the shoes that I got last week. Yeah. Pretty sure they're the same, the shoes I got for last week. Alright. We got four more money's ups. Is that a Pikachu? Oh, that was a bunny. It looked like a Pikachu for a minute. I don't know if it's, I don't care if it's meta now or something. The pencil sucks in the salmon run. Oh my gosh, it's like the game knew exactly what I was gonna choose. Spooky! How did the game know that? How did the game know? Oh, let's put on our Splatfest tea. Ah, oh, yeah! It's got the cute little pink bunny. Mirror matches is in no way in hell for me. I get that. I choose bunnies because I am a uh, year of the rabbit. How are you, by the way, Spirit? I hope things are going well for you. Yep, we've got the Spring Fest coming up, Killer Squad. How are you? And I've got a cat who hasn't had any attention from me at all today because she fell asleep in my other room. You can make it oversized? What? What? How? What? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Going alrighty, mostly in the lurking side of things. Also been enjoying time off the job. Yeah, I get that. Hello, Mateo. I'm doing good. How are you? I don't know. Do I? I, I like the sh the skirt showing, although this does look kind of cute. Not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this. It looks cute. Look how cute I am. Mm. 
Let's see. Oh my gosh, someone just started a really loud cart outside. I'm looking and seeing if I need to go into the Splatoon app to get the deep cut shoes. Finally managed to get to a stream, although not staying long since it's currently at 3 a.m. Yeah, I get that. I was like, oh, aww. I'm sorry you got laid off. I hate that that stuff happens. I hate that. I hate that. I feel so bad for the people that that's going on. No, that was a new... Okay. I was making sure because I didn't know if they would actually add that since I had already gotten it, but okay. Aw, thank you, Mateo. I appreciate it. Oh, jeez. Don't you dare explode on me. I need a Dr. Pepper. I got a lot of stuff to do today. Hello, Aries! Got a breakout Mario Maker after my stream. And then, of course, I've been doing a... I've been, uh literally constant raid battles in Pokemon Violet because I'm raising up my fairy team to the best of their abilities. I've got two offensive attackers and four uh, or four offensive attackers and two defensive attackers. The rest of the Tega fam, a falafel is the name for a group of bunnies. Yes. I literally just woke up from a nap, and the stream is the first thing I see. Oh, I'm glad! Well, welcome to the stream, Aries. The resort can, can't really do much. Ah, uh, yeah. So they're renovating it. Are they? Have they basically told you they'll call you back when they're ready for you? Like, have they decided that you're a good enough employee that they're going to let you come back? Because I get renovations and having to, you know, lay off people, but I wish that they would give you something like, I don't know what they do where you live, but like here, if you get laid off or fired, you can apply for unemployment and you can get that for six months as long as you're looking for a job and you prove it once a week. Um, but of course it's up to your employer whether you get that or not, like they can say no and you won't get it. Hello, GTGL! How are you? I haven't really been doing any Croatian Asian. I haven't been doing any Croatian language lessons lately. I have legit been working my butt off trying to fix my EVs of the Pokemon in my fairy team. I don't want to get hit by that. You're playing Side Order now? Isn't it so fun? I love Side Order. I've made it. Being laid off is the same as being fired because you still have your contract. Oh, okay. Yeah, yours is different. See, here in the U.S., whenever they say you're being laid off, it's usually you're fired. It's just a nicer way of saying you're fired, basically. Yep. That's in the U.S. though. I don't know how they, like, every, every place does it different. You hear 469 is nice. I'll probably play some more for buying gear. Side order is a lot of fun, Angel Cakes. I'm so sad that I was so exhausted on Tuesday that I couldn't pull myself out of bed to do a stream. But, okay, so, if anybody doesn't know, I kind of made a little bit of an impulsive decision Sunday night. Um, 
I decided that I was going to drive two and a half hours to where the Eclipse totality is. Totally don't regret it. But I worked Sunday night from 10.30 p.m. to 8.30 a.m. Started my drive to the place at 9. And uh, traffic was crazy because everybody was trying to drive to the, to the eclipse, the totality eclipse in the area that I was in. And uh, so there were times when I was on a highway you're supposed to be going like 70 on. And we're all going like three miles an hour for like an hour. <laughs> uh, it's up to you what you like best. Team Rabbit? Yes, Team Rabbit. My cat's doing good. She's doing good. She slept in my other room today. So when I took my nap, she wasn't with me. It's okay. No worries, Yubi. Come on in. Come on in. One match is good. It's fine. Yes. I have to restart on one floor. I don't mind I don't mind restarting on the first floor because then you can get different chips that might help you get further next time. Plus you can also do like the hacks, which it's really easy to get if you do a really good job at making your way up to as far as you can. Not to your balcony or anywhere. Yeah, but where you were, could you actually see totality or could you just see the partial? I'm doing good, Yubi. You're gonna choose Team Rabbit? Sounds like a plan. You can play with me next week when we play Team Rabbit. Thirty-five percent for you, dang! Well, where where I live, it would have been like ninety-six percent, but that was nothing compared to what I went to. And I know the live stream was buffering the whole time and it's moving at like three frame rates per second. But if you watch the live stream, you can see my, you can hear my full reaction and you can also see how dark it gets outside when the total eclipse happens. And it's epic. And uh, I even showed off one of the stars that showed up because of eclipse totality, because it was Venus and I knew it was Venus. Um, there were other stars that I didn't see because I was so, like, in awe of what it looks like when the moon is front of the sun. But, like, you could have seen Jupiter and Mars and Mercury and Venus and, uh, yeah. A lot of different ones. I'm gonna join back. Feel free. My back was noping too much to make a two-hour drive to where it was 100%. If you ever get a chance to make a, a drive to where 100% eclipses, totally solar eclipse, I tell you do it. Because now I'm addicted to it and I'm going to be doing the same thing the next time we have the total solar eclipse in this area. I'm going to be driving however many hours it takes to get there and watch the totality because it is gorgeous. And I want to take my mom and my dad and my sister too. But, you know, that's not for a while. But yeah, 98% is pretty cool. Because it, it looks like it's... It looks like dusk, almost. Almost like right before a storm. Yeah, once that moon goes in front of that sun, it just looks like it's nighttime. It's crazy. You're gonna join back, and then it looks like like a little, like where the moon is in front of the sun. It looks like a portal to heaven. Like I'm not even kidding. You saw Reno in a totally different light. I totally just fell off the side. <laughs> You've never seen a solar eclipse. You've only heard about it. If you ever have any solar eclipses that are near you, you should find a way to go. Like in totality. 100% totality because oh my gosh it truly you can see this the stars you can see stars you know it's not like nighttime stars where you see a whole bunch it's just the stars of the planets like you can see the planets as stars and it's so cool 
I never played Splatoon 1 on Wii U. I didn't start till Splatoon 2, unfortunately. This is a back and forth match here. But if you ever get a chance, I'm gonna say 100% go do it. Like, if you're able to and you feel okay, 100% do it. Yeah, I know, right? Wouldn't it have been amazing if I had seen Eclipse Totality and then... Because right after the Eclipse Totality happened and I was talking about it right before it ended is when the live stream just stopped. <laughs> so in a way, it was kind of the end of the world. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Yubi. But sleep well. Sleep well. And good night. Thank you for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. On the day after. I will remember that. If the end of the world happens and I am considered worthy enough. This, this stream is sponsored by Fuzzy Dr. Pepper. No! Don't ruin my Dr. Pepper, Orville. Have a good night, UB. Three versus four. Yeah, that was rough. But no, it was so funny because it was like right before the solar total solar eclipse was about to be done that uh, my stream just totally stopped working. They had new emotes in Splatoon 3. Yeah, every catalog they released new emotes. It's awesome. I'm doing good, Orville. How have you been? I hope you've been doing well. But no, it did. It just stopped. And I'm like, man, what if it was the end of the world? Everybody was watching my stream, and then bam. It stopped right as the solar eclipse got done. And then everybody was worthy enough to go up to heaven. <laughs> and leave all their stuff behind. Like in the movie Left Behind. The book series Left Behind. Oh, yeah, I get that. Monitor and a keyboard, too, with my own money. It, it's definitely worth having it, but it's unfortunate that the electricity you have is not enough to support it. That's crazy. Of course it was Mahi Mahi. Of course, I come to Mahi Mahi for my Splatoon 3 backstreet. Oh, the Supreme Court Justice confirmation hearings from the 80s or the early 90s. Doing my flower issue and started redoing my decorations on my islands and stuff. Nice! Hugs, hug, head packs, and Fortnite for Pega? I hope not. Oh, jeez, I don't know how I survived that. Bad thing about Fortnite is I'll get addicted to the cosmetics like I do in every single multiplayer game. And I'll end up spending way more money than I need to. I have several extension cords running around to balance the power for my desktop, two laptop, server, and home theater stacks. Yeah, I get that. three things plugged into my surge protector right now. I've got my gaming computer, my switch, and uh, the little thing that is showing the video on the screen. But even if I don't plug in the thing that shows a video on the screen, it still works because I forgot to plug it in one day and I went for like three hours. And you guys can still see me and everything, but plugging it in helps it not wear the computer out. Your old apartment had six 20 amp circuits. Dang. My new one only has three. I think the breaker my PC on is only 10 amps. I have no idea how many amps I have on any of my breakers. I 
have enough in my room with the old style plugins that don't have the little third thing to plug in a TV and a PlayStation and be able to do that. Um, so yeah, I don't know how many amps my breakers have. Good game, guys. Good game. Like, everybody got on that side, and I'm all myself. Oh, uh, with the amp rating. My breaker panel is in the weirdest spot. Because this is a manufactured home that they put on a foundation. They decided the breaker panel should be outside. So, like, if anybody wanted to, like, pull a prank, they could literally open up the breaker panel and turn off all of my electricity. Yeah, it's outside. I'll tell you what, when you go out there in the dark to fix it because something tripped it, because what happens sometimes is if my refrigerator kicks on at the same time as my water heater and my air conditioner or heater kick on, it trips the breaker. And it is so scary when you go outside in the dark and you try to turn the breaker on and it flashes at you like, nope, not yet, let me cool down. <laughs> it's the scariest thing. Outside of the far side of the garage. Yeah. I mean, I could get a thing to lock it, but because of the fact that breakers have been tripped before, locking it would just be... would just make it longer to fix it if I break a trip. You know what I mean? Because I'd have to get out my flashlight and make sure that the... that the lock is the right combination and all that stuff. Well, it's not, it, it sparks inside. Like, it's because the breaker trips again. It's not ready to start back up. It doesn't spark at me. It's just, it's when, whenever I try to turn it on and the breaker's not ready to start back up, it just goes back. Will eventually melt. Yay! Not, it doesn't spark. There's like a flash of light inside the breaker. Is that is that a considered a spark? I don't know. Well, I know that now. I know that now. There's an arc flash. Gotcha. It's the first time it's happened, so I'll be I'll be careful. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll let my landlord know, because I didn't realize how bad it was. <laughs> I just remember I turned it on and it turned itself right back off. And then I gave it about three seconds and then I turned it on and it didn't turn itself off again, so. Yeah. I don't know what else you can do though, like, without having to buy a whole new breaker system. Melted the box? Oh my gosh. Yeah, but how expensive are they to replace? That's the problem. I live on my own. I have to know... I have to know how expensive it is to replace them. Before I can be like, yeah, sure, I'll buy a breaker. True. Good game, guys. Good game, good games. 
and a sniper rifle. I'm doing good, Jevil! How are you? GG's. Now, did your electricity still work after the breaker melted? The fluff will consume you, because my electricity still works, so I don't I don't know how you know whether the breaker melted or not. You're doing good. I'm glad to hear it. Yes, but make sure you do not spawn camp. I'm gonna be yeeting bombs. I'm excited about the fizzy the fizzy bomb throwings again during the splat fest. Because I love bunnies so much, even though I never had one. Aww. Oh, okay. Well, I'll work on getting my landlord out here or an electrician out here sometime in the next couple of weeks. It hasn't happened. The last time it happened was that was like in March when it was like super, super cold. And no matter what I did, my, my heat couldn't keep up with... Uh, no, it was like February or March. It was like super, super cold. No matter what I did, my heat couldn't keep up with it. With the cold. And so I ended up spinning like... I ended up spinning like, I don't remember, I think I had like almost $200 electric bills every month when it was super cold. Stop throwing bombs, dang it! <laughs> we'll do, we'll do. about my safety. You know what I mean? If you think that I might have something dangerous going on there, then I'd rather you tell me than just me being unaware. Because, like, I've never been, I've never really had, and I've never really been an electrician. I knew the spark was not a good thing, because it scared the crap out of me, but... I just assumed that it was because the breaker wasn't ready to reset or something kicked on when I turned it on that caused it to to trip again. Yeah, that's a, that's the thing. It's when my uh, refrigerator, my heater, and my water heater turn on at the same time. So I have to be really, really careful with when I do showers and things like that. I turn off my heater when I do a shower, and then, um, that kind of stuff. It's, yeah, it's weird. And the only reason I figured out what it was that was causing it is just because it's what happened. It was what was going on at the time. You like splat bombs. And so what I ended up doing was, I think I ended up because it was warm enough in my house that I'd be okay for a little bit, I ended up turning the heat off and waiting till I heard the, the water heater turn off. And then I turned the heat back on and, you know, the refrigerator, I can't control that. Hopping right into action. Tomorrow for my stream title. Tomorrow's not Splatfest. Is it? Isn't it next week? Aww, well that's really sweet, Orville. Swap bombs are fun. The next week. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. 
I am playing with you guys, yes. You're in here with me. You're, I see you. We got me, Shroomy, Ares, Unknown, Spirit, Mango Ninja, and somebody else. Yeah, I'm Pegasus YT. Kirby, there we go. After the issues with latency. Yeah, I knew you were unknown. You told me you were unknown. I still play Splatoon 3. I love it. And they've updated it a lot. But my favorite thing about it is the catalogs you can fill out and you get them for free. You don't have to pay season pass points. For real money for these catalogs. Ouch! Look at all this. I have a lot I gotta prep tomorrow, because I, I, I've got to prep something for tomorrow, and then... I've got voice acting stuff I gotta do, like lines that are due, that I need to get done for tomorrow, and uh, then I have a stream which is gonna be at um, 4 p.m. I think tomorrow, if I remember right. I think it's gonna be 4 p.m. It's gonna be interesting. Um, it's gonna be quite the day tomorrow. And then, of course, once I get everything done that I need to get done, I'm gonna be freaking Terra Raid battling the crap out of Pokemon and Ogre ousting. Just so I can do my stats on my, uh... You know you be paying for each ear piece. Yes. I know. Just so I can get my fairy team where I want it. So I made a few changes to my fairy team. Hello, Shaker! And it's been doing decent, actually. Um, unless I get paired up with, a, uh, you know, unless I get paired up with someone who decides they want to use freaking Landorus. Landorus is the bane of my existence right now. <laughs> because I have a fairy that is a water type, but... It dies so easily to earthquake and stuff that it's like, oh my gosh. And then Landorus, it has levitate, so like, they can do like, big hitting moves while Landorus just floats there. There's an app you want me to try? What's it called? Whoa! Hi. But I have a Pokemon that's the bane of everybody's existence who decides that Ogre Pwn is going to be their, uh, their, uh, ace. Hello, KDoesYT! How are you? Welcome to the stream. Good game, guys. That was close. Ooh, we got the fist bump in there. Necrometer Spirit Box. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a good game, everybody. I know what you're talking about. And I probably would, but I like to have people with me when I do that kind of stuff because, like, then they can ask it questions and you can write down the answer. You know what I mean? You can put in, like, noise-canceling headphones and they can ask it questions and you can write down the answer. And so they can make sure that it's an actual real spirit. Enjoy the daily dose of Kraken hugs. More to come. Oh gosh, you poor thing, Moose. If that's what's happening to you. That's, that's not fun. Whee! Plus, if 
I do get like a spirit box shaker, I would want to get it. If I were to get a, a spirit box app, there's a couple that I really like. Um, but they have so many ads, it's impossible. Unless you pay for it. Oh no! What are you doing in a hotel for? Did you go on a vacation? Sometimes it looks like it was unknown. Accidentally got DC. Oh, we got DC. Just gonna run around. In the ink. <laughs> the fact that I can run around this quickly in the ink is hilarious. And the in the ink is hilarious. Besides, so most casinos I've tried to give my money to don't win because of my health and safety. Illegal, but meh. Yeah. I don't gamble when I'm home either. Gotcha. Oh, you're a block away from three major casinos. Dang. You're out of wine. Oh no. Worst day ever. I honestly don't drink drink wine. I think it has too much of a pinky flavor. But, you know, I will go to a restaurant and get one of them specialty drinks. At least once. Guess so. Good game, guys. Hello, Zay! How are you? Welcome to the stream! Hope you're doing well. Yep! Hello, Kirby! I knew you were there. But I can't anymore with the gout, so distilled alcohol for me. See, I never really liked the flavor of beer. Something about beer just doesn't taste good to me. And I don't like spicy food. I end up I end up being a baby when it comes to spicy food. So anytime we have like our potluck at work. No thanks to any alcohol related things. I get that spirit. Not everybody likes that kind of stuff. Um Or they keep or they keep away from it for reasoning of it was a, an addiction in their family or something like that, which I am like so proud of people that do that. I totally get that. But no, I have I have a friend who works with me. And we have like this potluck. Every uh every month for the lovely night shift. And he always makes something spicy. And I cry like a baby when I eat it. <laughs> But I sna you snack on ghost peppers? Oh my gosh, no. I'll tolerate, but beer is just, yeah, beer just doesn't taste good. It doesn't, 
it, I don't understand how people like the flavor of beer. I don't get it. To me, it just tastes like dirty water. Dirty dishwater. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm sorry. I put ghost pepper flakes on pretty much everything. You're crazy. Well, there was this one time that I tried these noodles because they look super, super good. And I asked one of my coworkers what kind of noodles they were, and they were like, oh, they're just noodles. This is another one of my friends. <laughs> Knowing that I do not do well with spicy foods. He's like, oh, they're just noodles. <laughs> so I grab like a big old, oh my gosh, I don't know how I didn't fall in the water there. I grab like a big old bowl full of these noodles. And I take one bite and I'm crying. <laughs> just like regular soda tastes like sadness it's people taste but taste buds yeah i don't get beer though i honestly don't think beer tastes that good but then again there's people that probably say how can you drink so much dr pepper it's so sweet and gross and it's just like drinking sugar water Thai restaurants freak out when I order stuff traditionally spicy. I'm just like, pretend I don't look like a white guy. Oh my gosh, Thai is so good. I I got mild spice one time at Thai, and it was really hot. But oh my gosh, it tasted so good. And I was like, oh wow, I didn't realize that mild was going to pack such a punch. Like You could even tell them no spice, and they would do it. I did the mild spice, and it was good. It, it was really good. It was spicy. It is sugar, true. So my pain quesadilla once, very cool guys, like, called it pain quesadilla. What did you do? Put hot sauce on it as, like, uh, salsa or something? Or, like, the hottest salsa ever? Thai food is so good. Oh my gosh, I love Thai. I think I've tried more than Bud Light, but I can't tell you for sure. It is sugar water, but it's the best sugar water in the world. I have Pad Thai a couple times, pretty good stuff. I've never had that kind of Thai. Look at that, guys! Look at what level I am! Level 69! Nice! The last time I went for Thai, I told them to make it hot enough they thought it would kill me, then double it. I sweat so much and it gave me a headache. It was glorious. Oh my gosh! How can you like being that oh, spicy? Ooh, the ghost pepper flakes. Yeah, ghost pepper, man. You, There's no messing around with ghost pepper. So Doritos, nacho cheese, and ketchup taste is spicy. That's weird. Yeah, that's true, Spirit. And I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. I totally get that. Like I said, anybody that doesn't drink, you know, I'm okay with that. Hello, gaming luminary! Shit, <laughs> nasty. Yeah, I can be. By the way, I'm not a PG-13 channel. Just FYI. For the people that just came in. I'm the funny number. It's a funny number. It was a funny number. Or I'm not, I'm not a, uh, a family friendly. Why did I say PG-13? I'm not a family friendly channel. But welcome to the stream, everybody that just came in. Trader Joe's used to sell some delicious ghost pepper maple syrup. Heck yes. Except for the ghost pepper part. Hello, Blue Hedgehog Man. Hello, Gaming Luminary. Once this battle ends, I'll get your, your uh, YouTube pulled up so we can talk about what kind of stuff you do. Sometimes we turn into R. Yeah, we do. Pepper X. I've never heard Pepper X. 
Imagine not being level 315. Sorry, I don't play enough for that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only time I can actually play video games is when I'm streaming or when I'm at work. Or when I'm not at either of those places and I just have the day off. And a lot of times, sometimes I'm playing a video game to get ready for the next stream. I've done that before where I practice the game before the stream, like freaking Cuphead. If you eat spicy food, remember to wash your hands before you go potty. Oh man, no! Oh no! That would so be bad. I died. How have you been, Gaming Luminary? I hope you're doing well. Another Ghost Cover Flake Grinder? Why would you want one of those? Y'all are weird, all you spicy loving freaks. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking from personal experience. I bet! I bet that wasn't a happy bird. Hello, Shade! Welcome to the stream! So I found out there's a new AI thing that's come out that makes songs based on what you say. You know, kind of like the AI that I was using that would make stories up and stuff like that based on what I said. But not like that, yes. <laughs> Will you be in the Carolina Reefer? And I'm thinking about trying it out just to make a theme song for the channel. <laughs> it's so bad though, it's like 90s hip hop. That's that's where it's at right now. It sounds like 90s hip hop. <laughs> All right. I've been doing well, thanks for asking. I was streaming Sonic Frontier. You beat it? Congratulations. All right, so I'm going to break the room here so we can talk a little bit about Gaming Luminary. Um, once it lets me. Alright. I don't know if it's genetically engineered or just specific. Especially bred, though. Um, so Gaming Luminary is someone that does a lot of stuff. We do a lot of uh, collabs together. I've done collabs with them before. Um, they do Mario Party, Super Mario RPG. They've been playing Kirby's Adventures. Um, they just got done with Sonic Frontiers, Minecraft. Fortnite! I know a lot of y'all like them. Fortnite, Mario Kart. Yeah, I've done a couple collabs with them, and they're pretty awesome. You should definitely check them out. This is the link to the stream portion of their channel that shows some of the streams they have. Let me get it in the chat. Yes, you do do a variety. Yes, indeed. These are the streams they've had recently for anybody looking. The Shiver one. <laughs> The fluffle shall consume all. Yes, you gotta go with the bunnies. But this is their channel. You should definitely go check them out if you haven't already checked them out. And if it looks like there's content on there that you'd be interested in watching. I know you guys all like live streams. And I know a lot of y'all like Fortnite because I'm gonna have to play it at 3,000 subscribers. You should definitely hit the like button and subscribe to them. I think it would be worth it. Well worth it. Buns or cubs? I chose buns. I chose bun buns. Speaking of bun buns, he's conch shell play. Ew, gross. Yeah, bunnies are probably pretty popular in Japan. Ew, another gross. Can you not give me something gold for once in my life? Cheeky observer, that's what you're gonna call me? Rude. Bunnies might get the upset because Japan. So 
so Fry might have a chance. Might, yeah. We might have a chance. Alright, I'm going to put on my pink. You chose Cubs. Baby chicks are hard pain to care for. I do not know. I do not know I've never taken care of baby chicks. Yeah, I so want to play Fortnite. I, I'm not making much money in Splatoon 3. I always want a bunny and name it Judy if it's a her. Yes, Utopia man. I cannot lie. You, I like fluffy buns and I cannot lie. You other of us can't deny. I mean, you're that title with my Kraken in sight. True. I may be mean, but I have an agenda for a possible deep cut story. I don't want Fry to keep losing. I feel so bad for Fry and her. Whoa, wait, wait, what's that say? I picked Team Baby Chicks because of Lucifer Morningstar? I wonder if that's a fellow Obey Me player. Yes, much love gaming. Thank you for gaming, Luminary. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button on the way out if you want to. Think I'd do well in Fortnite? I don't think I would. It's bears and I'd rather support my Tekken brothers. Rainbow Road, Kraken Hugs, no rice and beans, ear no ears. Why are you taking away all my favorite things? A reference to Hasbin Hotel. I've only seen one episode of Hasbin Hotel so far. And the first, I, and it was the first episode. And this girl was singing about Hasbin Hotel and how wonderful it would be. And I'm like, this sounds like a freaking Disney. Disney musical. Oh, yeah, Lucifer is the dad in Hasbin Hotel. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, so it's a Hasbin Hotel reference. Okay. I thought, yeah, I thought you were saying something else was it. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, the first thing, I've only seen the first episode. I've only seen the first episode. And by Tekken Brothers, I mean the pop up phantoms. Let's have a job to begin. Okay. Good night, Mateo. Thank you so much for being here for a while. I hope you sleep well, and we'll see you again tomorrow, maybe. He was showing a new duck. Oh, my gosh. Think Disney... Yeah, it's so... It's, it was very interesting. The first episode was very interesting. But the song that the, the female character sang, I was like, oh, no. This is going to be so corny. But then it got into this, like... There was another song that happened where she was trying to explain why Hasbin Hotel would be a good thing. And it got into this, like, hard rock metal beat. And I was like, oh, man, I'm digging this. <laughs> you saw Wish the other day? I need to watch Wish. I need to watch Wish and see why people hate it so much. Because honestly, I feel like this is the thanks I get is one of the best villain songs ever. Because you get to watch the, the villain totally deteriorate. You get to watch the nice guy totally deteriorate into a villain. Like, you see the exact moment he turns into a villain. Yeah, I have Am Amazon Prime. If I can watch it for free, I'll watch it. My sister was watching the first episode yesterday, and yeah. I mean, the first, the first time the girl started singing, it was just like, okay, this is called Hasbin Hotel. And it's about a hotel in hell, and you're singing all this cheerful, rambunctious, lovely, loving song. And I'm just like, oh no, please tell me it's not corny like this. And it's not. It's not. It's definitely not corny. But it started out like it was a corny show. I, know I slap my knee every time they reference other Disney movies. Ah! 
That's the pilot on YouTube. Ah, okay. I'll check out the pilot on YouTube then. Then I'll watch the first episode on Prime. You'll see what I mean. It's on Disney Plus. No, I know. I know a lot about Wish because I I watched a lot of videos on it because people were just dragging it through the dirt. And one of their biggest complaints was King Magnifico. And honestly, I feel like King Magnifico had a really cool song. Do I think it's gonna get nominated for the next Grammy? No, probably not. Do I think Wish is gonna be an Oscar-winning movie? No, definitely not. But I did like how the song showed King Magnifico just slowly getting crazier and crazier. I have not gotten to check out Murder Drones yet. Things have been pretty busy because, like I said, I drove and saw Total Eclipse and I got an hour and a half of sleep and then had to work another 10 hours. I fell asleep when I got home and refused to get up for stream and I knew I wasn't going to stream anyway because I could tell how tired I was. Good game! And then also I've been working on farming raid battles on Pokemon Scarlet so that I can get my fairy team where I want it, EV-wise. They all have 31 IVs now, but I need to get them to EV where I feel like they're doing a decent job in battles. Right now, unfortunately, I only have like a... Uh, a 35% win rate, which is terrible. Okay. Talk to Pepper and Dairy Queen. I wish. I know I gotta pump up the numbers. I gotta EV train my Pokemon, which is why I'm taking on so many terror raids. I've been just constant terror raids and ogre ousting so that I can feed my Pokemon a fresh start berry. Oh. And then uh, from there, give them the EVs they need for their particular part in the thing. So like my Whimsicott, He's a, he's a defensive Pokemon. Um, my Gardevoir, she's also a defensive Pokemon. But then I've got a couple of... I have like four offensive Pokemon. And honestly, Gardevoir could be neutral, honestly. But I don't know how you would work with neutral. So I just have to make her defensive. Um, because she has some pretty good attacks that would throw somebody off. Like, she covers all the weaknesses, but she is defensive, not offensive. Of course, my favorite move that I've learned about so far, that I've used before, whenever I know that someone is using Ogre Pwn as their ace, they're gonna like, terrestrialize their Ogre Pwn, my Whimsicott is holding an item. And that item, which most of you will probably know what item it is if you play Pokemon, makes it where one hit with anything that would kill it gives him an extra, gives him a chance to live one more round. So you, you pair that with the move Endeavor, which literally whatever Pokemon you put it on, it cuts their HP down to what Whimsicott's HP is. And then you throw a hyper voice in there and you've killed you've killed possibly two Pokemon if you're lucky.
But I gotta get I gotta get the stuff back different. Like everything can get hit pretty hard, but I wanna make sure I have good defensive stats on the Gardevoir and the Whimsicott and good offensive stats on everybody else. Hello, Sophie! You can play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Nice. Yeah, no, I've been doing competitive stuff in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And yeah, 35% win rate right now. I've been changing around my team. Finding out that if I release, uh, if I bring out Gardevoir and Whimsicott first, I tend to have a lot better luck than if I bring out, um, anybody else first besides Whimsicott. Or to go besides Whimsicott. I've yet to vote, though. Well, I'm Team Bunny. You caught a shiny Meryl yesterday? That's awesome. I was doing a terror raid the other day, and I could have sworn it was a shiny Dragonite. But then all the people that were playing with me did so bad that we lost it. Pain brush, indeed. Good game, everybody. Like, my Pokemon, like, lasted... Well, because I have them all IV and EV trained. My Pokemon lasted the whole battle. And, um, it was the Sylveon that I took in. Or no, was it Sylveon? What was he? Yeah, he was a Dragon Terra type. And so I took Sylveon into the battle, and Sylveon lasted the whole battle, but everybody else just kept dying and dying, and I'm like, come on, we gotta do this, it's a green Dragonite. It looked green. You got online? Heck yes. Good game, everybody, by the way. Yeah, you can join me. Do it. Here we go. Late mid game of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Nice. Since they got denied five times for their Roblox avatar. Oh no! No worries. Do what you gotta do to help your friend out. I wish you could join me too, Orville, but now you probably don't want to buy a Switch because I hear we've got a new Switch coming out sometime, probably this year or next year. You better believe I'm going to pre-order that sucker as soon as it comes out. See how it runs Switch games, if it's better or worse. I know, but you don't want to buy a Switch and then have to turn around and pay another $500 for another another Nintendo gaming system. I say $500 because that's what the standard gaming system runs for now, it seems like. Nintendo Switch was only $300, brand new, but if you look at like PlayStation and Xbox, they're all about $500. some people. So take that. <laughs> I hope it I hope it is like a PS5. Why would people steal a license plate? That is so weird. Salad. That's awful. That is the worst feeling ever when you're like, ooh, I'm so excited to get into the salad. And you think 
the lid is on all the way, and you, you put the dressing in, you click the lid back on, you shake, 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 shake it, and all of a sudden it's all over the floor. And you're like, no! You actually got a Gardevoir with the timid nature. Nice. You joined? Awesome! You'll get to play with us. But no, why do people steal freaking freaking license plates? That's really odd. Your user is Marie YT. Okay, cool. Good game, everybody. You think it's funny you had a timid Gardevoir? Well, good luck. I hope that it doesn't... Did you report it as stolen? I would report it as stolen. Let them know what the license plate number was and all that stuff. Okay. Good. Okay, good. That way people know that it wasn't you that committed whatever crime they did. My shadow clone. Yep. I think it's funny that even if you kill my inkling, I still have like three clones that will still do the splash down. Cops took your front plate last night. Most states only require uh, you have a a rear license plate, right? Here in Missouri, we're required to have a rear and a front. on the team fry will likely result in just that. Hello, Danny! You think you're gonna lose because you're on team fry? I totally chose bunnies. I think there's gonna be a lot more people on bunnies than we realize. And I think there's gonna be a lot of mirror matches and it's gonna suck. It's going to suck. Because that means that we won't be able to win if there's too many mirror matches because we don't get the clout for mirror matches. I just want I saw somebody over here. Guys only were in the suits over here, yeah. California requires both no matter what. Nevada requires front and rear unless your car was designed to not have a front plate and there's no manufacturer equipment to nail the front plate. Oh, okay. Yeah, Missouri also requires front, but I know there's a lot of states that requires front and rear. But I know there's a lot of states that don't require fire that, which I find odd. You choose bunnies either way. Yeah. Other states like Alabama only require rear. Okay, yeah. I knew that about Alabama. I have a lot of friends who live in Alabama. Hello, Death Annihiler! How are you? Hope you're doing well. Next month is going to be an unusually busy May for you. Speaking of, I need to see when my birthday falls next month. So I can see if I need to take work off or if I can actually just be okay. For my memory, about half require both, some with exceptions like in me, and the rest only require rear. Gotcha. Most of next month is school things. Yeah, a lot of people are graduating from school in May. Doing all their tests. Stuff like that. Yep.
It's funny because I was like the youngest one in my senior class. So like, what was really funny is I didn't turn 18 till like the day before graduation, if I remember right. I can't remember when I graduated from high school, like what day. I know what year, obviously. But I think I turned 18 like a day before graduation. And then when I graduated with my four-year degree, that actually happened on my birthday, and it snowed. And it never snows in May here. So I was, like, so happy. Keep a going. Keep on going. I'm probably going to only go until uh, 10 today, guys, just because I do have some stuff I got to do, like eat supper, and it was it was snowing for six days at Pennsylvania, raining PA. Oh, wow. That, there's a, it's a 40-inch, but only does 720p, and the HDMI inputs don't work. No! That sucks! Good luck, Kirby. Good luck. Um, but no, I uh, I forgot what I was saying. I told. Oh, I'm I'm ending at ten because I need to do something for a big collab I'm doing tomorrow. Um, that starts at well, four Central Time, <laughs> four my time. So that's gonna be interesting. You want 1v1s. And then I'll probably fill the rest of my... Because I already know what I what kind of want to do. If I'm allowed to do it. And then I'll probably fill the rest of my night up with watching YouTube and doing terror raids. Maybe playing some Ogre Alston now that I know how to play it right. I figured out how to play Ogre Alston and I'm in... I, I can get up to like level 9 in normal mode now. I still haven't cleared normal mode, but I can get up to level 9 in normal mode now. And Ogre Alston really isn't as hard as I made it out to be the first time I played it. <laughs> oh man, that was just bad. I didn't realize that you could just pick up so many berries and then just go to the things and just spam A. I started my character arc by starting to use motion controls and it's in Trice Jr. Nice. I hope that's working well for you, Mango. Or, not Mango, Dan Danny. I hope it's working well for you. No! Oh boy. Go away. Yeah. I'm glad it's going fairly well for you. Graduating is one of the biggest things and one of the hardest things, especially if you're attached to any of your teachers. Um, because me graduating from high school, I didn't even get to enjoy Project Graduation. Like, I legit didn't get to enjoy Project Graduation. And that was on me. I chose not to enjoy Project Graduation. Um... I mean, I enjoyed it, but I was, like, in tears most of the night because I had several teachers that had made a difference in my life, and I didn't know if I'd ever see them again. You know, one of them was my mentor. Luckily, I've seen her several times since, but, you know, other ones I didn't know if I'd see again. I've, ha I've got two that I have seen. Uh, a couple times because they volunteer at one of the places I volunteer at. Um, which is really nice. It's nice to be able to see some of those teachers you thought you weren't ever going to see again. You know? It, it's really nice. Oh! But then there's some that I haven't seen that I wish I have seen, that I could have seen. You know? And then there's some of my, uh, 
my middle school teachers that I added on Facebook that or that were that I added once I was an adult, obviously. Um, that made a big difference in my life and one of them was my English teacher in middle school and uh, we used to do like this thing where we had to do journals you know and we would have to write a journal every day in class and prom king each interestingly had only one vote mine there you go it's the way to go See, homeschool... Oh, get this. Okay. Homeschool is probably a good thing for a lot of people. I think if I were to have kids, I would probably homeschool my kids. Um, especially with all the stuff going on. But, you know, we can't protect them from everything, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I was in public school my whole life. And I had a middle school teacher, English teacher, who just added me on Facebook. And he was one of the most funny teachers ever. Like, he, it was his first year. He was super comedic. Um, here I am, seventh grade. We're required to write in journals every day. And he would read the journals. And if you, like, ask him questions and stuff, he would answer them. And for some reason, that made such a big deal. Like, that made a big difference in my life. Like... I was like, oh my gosh, somebody's actually reading and listening to what I have to say. Like, that was, that was that teacher. And then there was another teacher, my science teacher, who was also like that, where she was like, always listening to me and what I had to say. And I remember in middle school, I just was like in awe about that. But, you know, I... I can't say too, too much, because if I say too, too much, then it might be a little bit too much. But let's just say I wasn't used to adults actually actively listening to what I have to say, or actually even caring what I had to say. And so when my middle school English teacher would, you know, write in my journal and, you know, tell me things like you've got this or this is the answer to your question or things like that or my middle school science teacher would you know just talk to me in the hall and be like how are things going is everything okay just checking in that made such a difference in my life you know I always say my, my biggest mentor was in high school but honestly before that I had so many amazing people that touched my life before I hit high school. I mean, who else's English teacher would read a, a journal they write and then, you know, some of the stuff I wrote in the journal was pretty dark. <laughs> Honestly. I got a perfect score on the BSing section of the ACT. Heck yes. I wish I could do that. You were close to me on my essays, math, and other work. Yeah, I'm glad you were able to get a good homeschool education. And I'm so sad because I don't know what I did with my journals from middle school. I really don't think I would have thrown them away. <laughs> Especially because it, they made such a big difference, but I don't know where they went. Once I moved from my parents' house, like, a lot of the stuff that I had in their storage got lost. Or there was one time where I had a box in a storage room, and it was a box full of just papers, and it got, it got so rainy that it leaked, and it got all over the stuff in the box. <laughs> So everything was all mildewy and messed up and I couldn't read all my diary entries and things and I really hope that's not what happened to my middle school journal because if I could find my middle school journals I would in a heartbeat. <laughs> Just because they, it did make such a big difference that he would read the journals and actually respond to things I said. Good game, guys. 
typical mom that when my dad passes, I'm taking a week off and we're renting a dumpster. No, don't get rid of your stuff from kindergarten. My mom found one of my sister's old report cards from kindergarten. And I have a report card, I think, from sixth grade. Um, I just ran back to my base. Um, but yeah, I, I find them really interesting to look at and see where I was. I don't have my kindergarten report card, but whenever I went to kindergarten, it was only half a day. And honestly, we didn't really do much of anything. We just kind of, you know, we learned basic stuff that preschoolers learn now and we played. That's basically what we did in kindergarten. When my sister went to kindergarten, since she's five years younger than me, it was a full day and they were learning math and numbers and all this stuff that I never learned in kindergarten. And they would have like an hour a day where they would sit and watch Sesame Street and talk about Sesame Street. And uh, yeah. There's barely room. Oh, I gotcha. I get that. But no, there's some things you want to hold on to. And I am so sad that I don't know where my middle school journals that I did in middle school English went. Because I want to see where I was at that point. Because I do know that I was not in a good spot. Um, because that's when my mental health started really getting bad. Like, I had already had mental health issues when I was six where I was having panic attacks and then hyperventilating until I was, like, ten. But then I started having a lot worse mental health issues. And, yeah, I'd be interested to read the journals just to see where I'm at. Obviously, nothing I wrote in there worried them enough that I had to go to the counselor for it. But, you know... <laughs> Because if, if they see something that would worry them enough that they think that you need to go to the counselor ASAP, they would, you know, they would do that. <laughs> Trust me, I've, I've dealt with that before several times. School counselor pulled me out of class for things. Sometimes it can be one of the scariest moments ever. Other times you're just like, finally, how long did it take you, you know? But then when the school counselor pulls you out of class and everybody sees the school counselor pull you out of class and they're like, are you okay? Is everything okay? You know, you got all these people like asking you if you're okay and you're like, I'm fine, I'm fine. It, it, it's nothing. It, it's something I brought on myself. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah, school counselors in public schools can be some of the ama most amazing and fun because, like, you'll have, like, school counselors come in your room once a week when you're in, like, elementary school. But in high school, it's more like they come in to give, like, they have you take things to learn about what careers you might be interested in um, and things like that. They prepare you for college. They give, they tell you about certain tests, like the PSAT you can take. Um, they have all the college applications and all that stuff. So when you get pulled out of class in high school, it's a real different. <laughs> it's a little different when you get pulled out of class in high school as opposed to when you get pulled out of class in middle school or elementary school. Because if you're getting pulled out of class in high school, that usually means that there is something very serious going on. <laughs> Oh, I've been pulled out of class so many times in high school for serious things. And then there were times I was pulled out of class in middle school because of some serious stuff. Um, and, you know, even in elementary school, I remember that I had a counselor who did, like, group therapy with me and a bunch of the kids in my class. For some reason, I don't know why. Um, and that was close. 
I don't know who was base camping. I wasn't paying attention. Just try not to try not to spawn camp, guys. That was like right. That group counseling thing happened like right after my grandma just like disappeared, and nobody knew where she went. And so I'm thinking that was partially it. But I don't know why they would do group counseling. I don't know why they would throw other kids in there with me. You know what I mean? I don't get that. I didn't see who was camping base, so it's I was too busy talking about things in the past. Your brain cells need surgery. Sorry if I confused you with all my my talk about mental health. So yeah, no, seriously, like why why was I doing group therapy with people in my class? Like, I, I don't get it. I mostly kill people and moved around and stuff. I, you round up getting put in a social skills class after you don't even know what. Yeah, that that can happen. Well, I had, I had a time where they legitimately pulled me out of class because I had apparently a speech problem. Now, I didn't realize that I had a speech problem. I mean, and the fact that it took them until middle school to figure out that I had a speech problem was odd. So, like, for anybody who's been on the stream long enough, they know there's certain things that I have to, like, think before I say. So, like, if I'm, if I'm going to say kitten, I have to tell myself tuck. Because if I don't tell myself tough, then this is what it sounds like. That's such a cute little kitten. Such a cute little kitten. I pronounce my T's, my double T's as dumb. Um, and if I talk about things like the YouTube play button. There you go. I did it again. Maybe one day I'll get my hands on a YouTube play button. I have to literally be like, ta it. Maybe one day I will get my hands on a YouTube play button. <laughs> I highly doubt it, but that'd be cool, right? <laughs> it was in high school. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it's fun. You got to draw stuff and play poker. Heck yes. Well, I remember in uh, elementary school because that's when I was having a lot of really bad panic attacks and stuff that there would be times when my, well, in fourth grade, I don't think my teacher understood what was going on at all. And see, the counselor would actually let me take a stuffed animal into class with me that I could hug when I started having panic attacks, which honestly is a good way to deal with a panic attack if you don't have something to help you immediately. Usually if I'm having a panic attack and I know I have friends and I'm like at work or whatever and I know I have friends who can take take over for me for a little bit, I'll be like, hey, I need to get out for a minute, sit in my car. Like the whole back seat of my car is full of these huge life-size stuffed animals so that when I hug them, they cover like my whole entire body. <laughs> um, but... My teacher hated that. She hated it so much. Oh! Um, Anata wa Nihongo o Hanasemasu ka? Hi! Um, Hajime Mashite, Watashi wa Pegasus Angel, this. Um, Nihongo Sukoshi Hanasimas. Ego ga Hanasimas ka? Sono Sutori Muadore Reku Kurai Sekai de Deska. I think that's Sakai. Are you eating? Are you eating 
this Remu? Remu? What's Remu? This Remu. Something something eating. They're e or going to be No, Nikai, Nikai. Deska. Nick, I, I'm so confused. <laughs> Sorry. Is it Nikai or... Taba Tabakai? I'm, I think it's Nikai. I'm not so good with kanji. A map rework of one of those two and these two in rotation will be goaded. Heck yes. It was either Mary YT, Shroomy, or Showtime. Okay, I don't know Showtime. Showtime, I don't think, is in the lobby with us. I think that's just a random person. And to answer your question about when I'm going to bed, I think is what you're asking. I'm probably not going to bed until, like, 3 a.m. tonight. I have a couple things I gotta do before I go to bed, like eat supper. Oh my gosh! But well, welcome, Wolfie Gang! I'm pretty sure you speak English. If I remember right, you speak some English. But I might be wrong. I could be thinking of somebody else. I have a lot of people that come in here speaking German or Japanese or uh, I've even had some people coming in here speaking Croatian and Arabic and things like that Spanish Day. Heck yes. Watashi no Masui Kanji. <laughs> Pretty sure I just said I'm bad at Kanji, but I might be wrong. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's fine. Like I said, Nihongo Skoshi Hanatsimasu ka. Or Hanatsimasu, not Hanatsimasu ka. Gosh. <laughs> Let us out of home, please. On the guy, Shimas. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there is way too much orange over here, uh, where I'm spawning, so maybe back up a bit, whoever's doing that. That's a lot of orange. Oh, they camped a couple of games ago, okay. to use the bad boy. Just try not to spawn cat amp. That's all I ask, anybody. Oh my gosh. The area sprat RG. Only went in with three slider and ducked out fast. No, that's fine. It was just, there was somebody that was like, just literally not letting anybody pass the part that we could get to the middle. 
And you need to kind of let us get to the middle because that makes the game more fun when we can get to the middle, if at all possible. When you spawn camp like that, save that for like 100 times battles, not when you're playing with friends. or when you get in a hundred times battle or a three 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 times battle or even a ten times battle don't spawn camp when we're just playing casual turf wars i don't think it was you angel cake i'm not sure we just have to be we have to be careful because if i can't get to the middle that makes the game not fun you know what i mean like there especially on this level right here there's literally only two ways to get to the middle and this was the way that was being blocked. And this is the way that's easier to get because you don't have to jump off and hope that you land in the right spot. Oh gosh, I don't want to get hit by that. I don't want to cause any unnecessary issues with the people in my audience. Yeah, when you, like, the only reason you should camp, like I said, is if you're playing ranked mode, or if you've got, like, an 100 times or a 3 3, three times battle. Then I get it. You know, I get that. I get camping with those. You gotta go, because late and paying, paying a something thing. No worries, you're good, you're good. See you later, Aries. Thanks for saying bye. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of the night. Oh, horror game. Okay. Yeah. Holding the other holding the other team out of the middle without camping. That's fun and it takes skill. Yeah. We can all just stay in the middle. That's what's fun. Now, let me be clear, this does not apply to, like, special attacks. If you want to go into the home base and do your special attack, that is A-OK. -okay. I am A-OK -okay with that. And I get that, but, like, whenever it's just a casual game and you're shooting, just try not to. Oh, no. Mutual splat! Nice job, Bigri! <laughs> See, like, the map right here looks pretty even. That's kind of what we want. Because it's just a casual game. It's not... It's not gonna matter whether we win or lose. Wah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh, that was so scary. No! Oh! I almost died to the funnel, the ink funnels. Yeah, see, like, this is a pretty even map. That's not too bad. I like it when you can't tell right away who's winning. That's what I like. And call hazmat like that GameStop did that one time. And once it finished, I had gone right back to the place that I was in. Yes, good game, everybody. Hello, Freddy! Welcome to the stream! Give me another ink resistance up. Well, okay. Oh boy, guys, we got eight people. And it's unfortunate because I think I can only do three more games because I got to focus on something for the collab I'm doing tomorrow. It's good with the lag in that. No camp equals fun. Yes. Not being able to tell who wins right off the bat equals fun. This is one of 
my favorite orange colors that we have. I really like it. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! There was so much death coming at me, I didn't know what to do. Ugh. But when it gets to be time for Fortnite, if you want to spend one or two of your non-stream days learning the ropes with Minoic and I, let us know. I'm sure we can get you into a good lobby. Oh no, we had a disconnect! It's going good, Freddy! How are you? Yep, someone DC'd. I always thought it was more funny when I'm not familiar with the game. Too much lag now. Are you getting lag? Or are you getting lag on, on my stream? Is your internet just being dumb? No Mindo offline strikes again. No Mindo. Sorry you're getting so much lag, Spirit. That sucks. We've got three more matches, guys. a drink a nice refreshing drink oh no I have no ink I got a drink and I have no ink oh boy Ugh. almost got killed oh they got me I can't believe you can snipe with the paintbrush. That's crazy. Not having to get right up in the person's face to do that. That's nuts. The Goat King. Brush is annoying but fun to use. Yeah. Nelsey. Okay, we're gonna have to figure something out here. Yeah, I think that a lot of these are randoms. Although I think Bob the Goat is in here, and so they should know not to. But I don't know who Nelsie is. Who is that? He's coming all up in our turf, man. I don't know who Bob the Goat is. It's got air roller range of ink, and given the height, you can cover half of the left side of your spawn with it. Dang. Three YT is someone here. I haven't caught them yet. Though. Where they are, that's not really spawn camping. If this person is. That's definitely. Spawn camping. Zay, stop spawn camping. I 
know you're in chat. You've been here long enough to know my rules. This is not a fun map. This is a sad map. This is the map where everybody knows who wins before we get the results. And it's very boring. How boring. That needs rework, to be honest. Not ki uh, No kidding. Hello, Robotics Game! Welcome to the stream! Yeah, I don't know who Bob the Goat is. Who is Bob Goat? Yeah, that was, that was legit camping. Who is Bob Goat? I don't even know who this person is. They obviously have wa watched my streams get in with me. I, I mean... Either that or they came in with Zay. Zay, if Bob Goat came in with you, try to find a way to tell them we don't do spawn camping here. Yeah, if they're spawn camping and you know they're spawn camping, don't jump to them. Yes, I did see a lot of spawn camping from Bob Goat. But then I also saw you, like, right behind them, so... You've been here long enough to know better. Tell Bob Goat if he wants to spawn camp, he needs to go to ranked mode, or wait for the splat fest when he gets in a hundred times battle. Then they can spawn camp all they want. Make Pegasus Angel turn into Pega Mom, guys. Dude, am I really that much like a mom? I guess I sort of am. <laughs> I, I do have the look. She already Pega Mom on us. Yeah. Sort of, kind of. I've got the look down, man. I work with teenage boys. Anytime they're being goofy, nobody should be spawn camping. Who is that? Okay, we got Bob Goat over there that was spawn camping. Don't do that, Bob Goat. Every time one of the boys tries to get away with something that he knows I saw them him do, I'm like, really? And then usually they look at me and they're like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> At least we only got one more match after this. I gotta work on my, uh, thing. Oh! I'll join and do my side order later. Well, we've only got one more match, though, so... Just... Letting you know. You only get to play one match with us after this. Let me get rid of this yellow. I'm gonna tell people not to spawn camp. I'm gonna get rid of yellow so I'm gonna spawn camp. Okay, and we'll see you in a minute then, Robotic.
Welcome to the stream! You're good! No worries! No worries! You're in? Awesome. Excuse me. It's your bedtime. I'm sorry! Sleep well. Hello, Ash! Welcome to the stream! What were you playing today? This is actually my last match, best match. Going on here right now. Oh boy. 11 p.m. ish mark. <laughs> Behold! We have eight people. Agent four. Last match, best match, guys. And then I'll talk a little bit about what Ash does. You were doing Splatoon 3 Turf 4 battles. So yeah, so anybody who hasn't seen Ash, they do do a lot of Splatoon 3 stuff. Um, ranked, Turf 4, all that stuff. Most of you know Ash, I think. Um, I, if one of my moderators could post their channel link in the chat, I'd really appreciate it. Since I just started this match. Last match, best match, everybody! We got this! I agree, we got this. How did I dodge that? I have no idea. Oh, what? Shot from behind! If my mods can't grab the link, I will once this map is up, once this match is over. Yes! We gotta spread the love and positivity. It's not being skilled at the game, it's the fact that we can't even get to the middle. I mean, I'm glad you're skilled at the game. That's awesome. But if nobody can get to the middle, thank you so much, Spirit. Then it's not a very fun game. Like, this is not fun to me. Just being, being skilled at the game is one thing. Spawn camping and saying you're skilled at the game is another. Just FYI on that. I always play fly after fly over the game audio. I love it. I love it. It's a smart idea. Having an ending song. Thing is, I slay a lot, but on here I keep it respectful so that at least people get out of spawn. Not my own time for something like challenges or X battles going all in. Yeah, like if it's a raid, if it's like a ranked battle, I get the spawn camping. Or if it's a hundred times battle or ten times battle in Splatfest, I get that. I don't understand why we spawn camp on turf wars. I, d I don't get that. Work has been good. Yeah, good game. Congratulations, spawn campers. If you get a score below 28%, that means the other team is spawn camping. Like, if you get a score below, like, 40%, the other team is spawn camping. That's how I, how I determine it. Alright, I am gonna X out of this. Well, in a minute.
You base invaded yellow. Well, it's blue that lost, so... Hello, Hannah Ryan! Whoops, I made a moopsie. Nothing much is up. What's up with you? I tried. It's okay, robotics, but we still don't want to... We don't want to spawn camp just because the people that are in the thing spawn camp. You know what I mean? That's holding middle. Below 30. Yeah, if it's below 30%, that's ridiculous. That means that we haven't even been able to get out of spawn half the time. TikTok boom for the third time tomorrow. Okay, I thought you said you did. I'm sorry. All right, time to gamble this last freaking haunt shell. Tried ricochet curling. It's not just Shade who's mad at you, Zay. There's more than one person who has caught you spawn camping tonight. And you've honestly been here long enough to kind of know my rules about spawn camping. That if we can't, if we cannot get 30% or higher, then you are too much in our base. So it's not just shade. And you need to stop being rude to people just because they call you out on something. Yeah, I get it. Being called out's no fun. I totally get it. But chill. Seriously. Anyway, I have to end because I've got to do some stuff. Yes. I've got to do some stuff. I will be live again tomorrow around 4 p.m. If I'm reading when the collab starts right. So it's going to be an early stream tomorrow. Um, But I do appreciate you all being here. You all are amazing. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. Um, yes. Well, we're gonna we're gonna end here because people are getting mad, and I also need to make my Mario uh, Maker level for tomorrow. So. All of you guys, have a good rest of the night. Stream will be at 4 p.m. tomorrow if I read everything right. Keep an eye on the Discord or, you know, click the bell for all notifications. I don't know if it even works. Half the time, I don't think YouTube notifies anybody. Because, like, for the first, like, three minutes, I was live after I posted it on Discord and Twi Twitter. Nobody came in for, like, three minutes. And I'm like, what is going on? This is a Splatoon stream. Usually there's people here, like, immediately. So, I don't know. Yes. And all and all these mods. Yeah, we've got some good mods here. We have amazing mods. But yes, guys. Thank you for being here. And, as always, much love, everybody. Mwah! Go out there, go spread some love and positivity today because you never know who needs it. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time when I'm going to be doing a Mario Maker collab with Thunder Pals. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be another one of those where you have to try to uh, beat levels. And you guys know how good I am at Mario Maker levels. <laughs> so, yes. Have a good night, guys. And I will see all you guys later. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone!